guys, two of you met, and uh, Elijah, it's a nice job, nice job early on out of the gate. I appreciate it. Watching, uh, what was it like watching, watching this game unfold and, and what happened out there in your mind? Uh, I mean, there wasn't the result we wanted. We didn't play our best like uh, we were planning on, but mm -hmm. you know we're just ready to peak at the right time. We'll stay together, and we got tournament next week, so we're gonna peak at the right time and play a good event. Does I hate to say this, but you had you had a chance on an off day, for, you know, miss being the day in the first one. Still, still okay. I mean, in spite of what happened, in spite of what happened tonight. Yeah, yeah, we're not worried about that. We're ready to play. You know, we got a bye on Saturday, so we're gonna come in fresh and ready to play. Yeah, yeah just prepare for the next one. So, I mean, yeah, we just, we got time, just going to refresh some stuff, refine some stuff, and just prepare for the next game. What did they do then to give you those grief? Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't really much that gave me grief. It was just pretty much, they tried to, uh, like, cut me off from the ball. They tried to, you know, jam me a little bit, but it wasn't nothing I couldn't work around. It was just, How hard is it to defend Jordan Davis? Um, he's a very good player. He's crafty. He can score on all three levels. He's he's, he's, he's trouble. He's definitely trouble. Um, keys to success at the tournament now. Not you that now you did are obviously opponents still to be determined. Uh, just getting our mind right. Just getting just fixing some nicks and bruises on the team, and just getting everybody fresh and getting everybody fired and ready to go. That's the key. Just the team effort we've got to get. I mean, fire on all cylinders, work together. I mean, we can do it. I mean, I've seen them do it. So he's got to, you know, work on things, look over film, just prepare for the next game. And I this, I mean, not a record isn't everything, but you guys had a chance to finish the 500 records for the first time in a long time. What would that have meant to you guys to get the I mean, that would have been cool, but we still had a big goal that we accomplished, which was most uh, wins in the big sky right. since ICU's right. been here. Right. So, uh, I mean, as cool as that would have been, I feel like we still accomplished a great goal and we're not done yet. Mm -hmm. Still got goals to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Seven straight wins at home that got snapped tonight, even though two of those, that was one of the biggest keys I kept seeing. The fact that you were here so good at home, and then you just ran into the bus out with these, these guys tonight. Yeah, uh, we definitely take, took pride in being at home, but today they just had our number. Personally, what do you feel about the state of the program now? I mean, like, not only a couple years ago, you went to six games now, you got double digits, have a chance to open the season five. I feel like it's definitely elevating. I feel like we won it. when we came in, we all wanted to be respected and you know raise the statue of the team. And I feel like we did that, but we didn't do as much as we wanted to. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the years to come, I feel like the team behind us will. Right, we're still growing, still trying to build a culture. I mean, we started building a culture now. I mean, I've only been here for two years and I've seen things on the rise. I mean, it's only it's only up from here. What's the biggest change in the culture that you've seen? Uh, I think just as a, I've been here, I've been here four <laughs> years. You guys are qualified <laughs> ones. Go ahead. As a team, I think, I mean, we're all best friends in there. The locker room is great to be around. We're all great guys. Um, I think the chemistry has just been great. And once we get everybody on the same page, it's, we're just playing good. We're all friends. We're having fun. Did Coach say anything about the technical foul? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, first, I want to just commend the three seniors we had who, who were you know, fantastic for our program uh, in their time they've been here. And, and uh, you know, those guys embody everything that we want. And you know, uh, with Maddie and, and uh, EG, you know, a couple guys that every single day behind the scenes getting us ready. Well, they have been uh, nothing short of spectacular representatives for us. And, and, and Brandon obviously uh, has, has had a career of, of scoring and, and uh, doing some big moments, especially uh, last year in the conference tournament. And, and so uh, those guys will be sorely missed. You, you've lost your chance at the off, at the off day now. Uh, challenge, challenges ahead? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of pros and cons. Uh, obviously, you get three in three days, that's great. Um, but sometimes, as you see around the nation, uh, you can get stale too having that much time off, having that first game. Um, I don't think it moves the needle a ton for this group. Mm -hmm. You know, and in some ways I kind of, uh, I'd like to, we're a momentum team. Hopefully we get one, two, and then kind of get things going. Yeah, because I'm seeing it. It's a similar pattern than last year. Last year I think we were a four in a row at lost, in the last column before the tournament. And now, tonight, now this year three in a row. Yep. But it didn't, matter, it didn't matter then, and I'm trying to make, I'm obviously the work now is beginning to make sure it doesn't matter now. Yeah, and no question. And, and, and you know, you got the three best teams in the league to finish your season. That's a, that's a tough goal of it. Sure. And uh, uh, especially those Montanas on the road and, <laughs> and a short turnaround. 
uh, Monday, Thursday that we're blessed with uh, uh, to have now in Colorado here. Um, you, you know, that it's just, they're tough. We, we, we showed signs of that fatigue. Um, you know, the fortunate thing is our buy came, it comes on Saturday, so leading up in the tournament. The bad part about that is we just played a million games in not a lot of days. Sure. So we kind of looked, I think, three for 16 from three. Yeah. Had a lot and of they were, some, they were absolutely on fire from three in the first half. Yeah, game. and, then, you know, that's 24-point swing just from three. Mm -hmm. You know, they made three more baskets than us in the game. And, and uh, but that reality is, you know, it's a huge discrepancy. And I thought our legs were a little tired. Defending Jordan Davis, how much of a challenge was that? Because I'm thinking the sequence in the second half where he hits he hits two free throws and comes up and stealing the stuff, four points in the space of about maybe 10 seconds. Yeah, no, and, and he's the best player in the league by country mile. You know, he really is. And uh, to his credit, he's really become a guy that can shoot. And uh, he's a spectacular player, and, and uh, he's hard to guard, and, and he gets all those bumps, and next thing you know, he's shooting 15 free throws, and all your guys are in foul trouble. That, that, that's tricky. He's a quick quick weapon with that, and uh, um, special player. You know, the league's going to miss him. Uh, we're not going to miss him, but <laughs> somebody will, uh, hopefully in probably Northern Colorado. Yeah. Hey, can, going on, along with your three seniors, uh, what have they brought to the program? Kind of what have they changed over the culture? Yeah, you know, Maddie was here from day one. Um, you know, uh, uh, just just a phenomenal student, uh, phenomenal uh, player. He, he's had highs of 18. He stayed ready. Had some injury issues the last couple of years that kind of got him on the wrong side of uh, maybe the rotation. But he's always ready, always positive. Um, you know, phenomenal in that in that corner. Even uh, jumping up and 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 I mean, just a great, great representative of Southern Utah and, and, and Elijah Graves the same. Uh, he joined us as a practice player. We kind of ran out of bodies a little bit last, uh, you know, two two falls ago and and earned his way on his team the old-fashioned way. And uh, he, he's he's again a great kid. He's going to be a great coach. Uh, practices as hard as heck. Yeah, it was fun uh, to be able to get him on the floor. I wish we could have got him a basket, uh, but. Uh, but he's an awesome, awesome, uh, awesome T-bird, and, and, and Brandon Better, uh, you know, he's he's just caught fire, you know, uh, at times, and you know, he's one of those guys that can take over a game with the scoring, and uh, you know, he, he's he's going to be a guy that, you know, is, is ex gets so much attention that uh, that, that it oftentimes opens up other players. So so he even when he's not scoring, he's he's contributing. The 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 bench technical foul at the end of the first half. How did that shape the halftime speech? Yeah, you know, I, I, the reality is I thought our guys needed a little spark. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we did that one a little earlier in the year, and our guys kind of came out, you know, kind of rallied up. Sure. And uh, I thought we, we needed to kind of get get a little get a little fire, mm -hmm. you know. So I kind of was working on that one for a little bit to try to get us going, and and uh, you know, I, th I thought I thought uh, overall, you know, we win the second half, thirty to twenty-seven, and it really from that point on, I thought we were at least a little more fiery mm -hmm. you know what I mean so it kind of had the intended purpose um, but uh, you know maybe I should do it a little sooner <laughs> yeah. uh, now preparation preparation and scouting uh, is you get a couple extra days to work on since the tournament doesn't start for another six days on the men's side uh, what's this what's the scouting plan gonna be like I mean not knowing the not knowing the first opponent yeah you know we, we first we got to take an exhale I mean this this deal where we we uh, you know, we're, we've been traveling. We're in minus 1,000 degree Montana <laughs> from uh, Friday to Tuesday, right. and then you know, guys are guys are sick and banged up. And then we kind of try to do a practice yes or uh, yesterday, and try to play the game today. You know, we 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 we, we gotta we gotta regroup. Let let our student athletes uh, be students for now. Yeah, you know, you're starting to see those injuries and those rolled ankles. That's a direct result of of what we're facing. You know. You know, with what they're, you know, it's, it's too much. To be honest with you, and sure. um, you know, I, but uh, but they're fighting, and they're battling, and we need everybody on the roster. Yep. Dre's injury uh, was that a turn ankle. Do you think it'll affect him come tournament time, or is he going to be okay? For uh, it's kind of to be determined. Yeah. To be determined. Okay. You know, but uh, he plays a lot of minutes. I mean, we play him so many minutes, and uh, you know that's what happens. Mm -hmm. You know, Harrison got one. He got one. Uh, Jacob got banged up a little bit. I mean, you kind of seen it across the board of guys, you know, that's kind of a, a you know, the guys that have tired legs. Yeah. And I mean, this would have been an opportunity to finish 500 for the first time in a dozen years. What would it, what would it have meant to you and for the seniors to 
finish regular season 500? Yeah, you know, just, just small goals. You know, yeah. it, it, it would have been a nice accomplishment, but we had games in front of us where we certainly can still do that. And, uh, um, you know, we would love to get the 10th conference win, but but it wasn't the cards. And, and you, beat, uh, you beat the previous one. Yeah, it was previous. Yeah, you know, and, 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 we, and anyone, you know, especially with you lose three major contributors for the season early on in the, in the year. Uh, I can't say enough about these guys that are just battling and, and, and uh, found a way. You know, yeah. and when you're talking, um, you know, eight, seven, eight scholarship guys and, and get nine wins in league. That's, that's, that's and only one of them's a senior. Yeah. You know, I got to give those guys credit. They 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 fought. Thank you, coach. Thank you.